The 5A of Guillain-Barre syndrome. Acute inflammatory demyelinating polyradiculopathy. Guillain-Barre syndrome represents a critical autoimmune disorder characterized by a rapid inflammatory process targeting peripheral nerves. Healthcare providers must recognize this condition's primary mechanism of myelin sheath destruction. The syndrome impacts multiple nerve roots, disrupting critical nerve signal transmission. Epidemiological data reveals a consistent incidence of one to two cases per 100,000 individuals annually, underscoring its clinical significance. Ascending paralysis. The hallmark of this syndrome is its distinctive ascending paralysis pattern. Clinicians will observe weakness that systematically progresses from lower extremities upward, potentially involving arms and torso. The rapidity of progression demands immediate clinical attention. In severe scenarios, respiratory muscles can become compromised, potentially necessitating mechanical ventilation. This ascending pattern makes early recognition paramount for implementing timely interventional strategies. Autonomic dysfunction. Guillain-Bar syndrome extends beyond motor nerve involvement, critically affecting the autonomic nervous system. Patients may present with complex physiological disruptions, including unpredictable blood pressure fluctuations and cardiac rhythm abnormalities. These autonomic disturbances complicate clinical management and require comprehensive monitoring during hospitalization. Healthcare providers must remain vigilant for these systemic manifestations. Albuminocytologic dissociation. A distinctive diagnostic feature of this syndrome is albuminocytologic dissociation in cerebrospinal fluid analysis. This specific finding demonstrates elevated protein levels concurrent with a normal white blood cell count. Lumbar puncture becomes an essential diagnostic procedure enabling clinicians to differentiate Guillain-Barre syndrome from other neurological conditions. This marker provides crucial diagnostic clarity. Aeroflexia. Approximately 90% of Guillain-Barre syndrome patients exhibit diminished or absent deep tendon reflexes. This aeroflexia serves as a significant clinical indicator of peripheral nerve involvement. During patient evaluation, the absence of reflexes becomes a critical diagnostic signal, helping healthcare providers confirm the syndrome's presence and assess its neurological impact. Take-home message. Understanding these five key aspects provides healthcare providers with a comprehensive framework for managing Guillain-Barre syndrome. Early recognition, systematic assessment, and prompt intervention remain crucial for optimizing patient outcomes in this potentially life-threatening condition. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.